right, fighthype.com here with my man Samson Lukowicz. Um, got a big fight now with Sebastian Fandura and Tim Zhu, but first I gotta ask you about the stuff everyone's talking about in boxing. Canelo Alvarez saying if he was offered 150, 200 million guaranteed dollars, he'd fight Benavidez, but otherwise there's nothing in it for him. What do you, what's your reaction? Besides the 25 pounds. Besides the 25 pounds, right? He was taking the 25 pounds, it's very smart. I believe that he will get the $150 million and he will fight him. Uh, I say that is that, that, you know, if it be shameful for boxing, it will, it will destroy part of our uh, sport if he doesn't fight Benavides. So now we know the price. Now we need to, need, we need to find it. <laughs> we need to get the money. But uh, he's very smart. Very good businessman, Canelo. And I believe that he deserves the 150. I don't know if he reached the 200, but the 150 million, why not? Uh, Mayweather did it. And he followed the footprints, the blueprints of Mayweather. So don't underestimate it any longer. Well, you know, uh, I know David believes the fight could still happen in September. And, <clears throat> you know, obviously. You could... I, I don't know September. Why because not? Because if he fight in June, he will not uh, fight in September. Mm. I mean, I will not uh, allow that. But November is a good time to do that fight. What if he gets out of the ring with Vazda quickly? Doesn't take any damage? Uh, regardless, uh, I believe it's too soon. Because you need to go in a fight like this, you need to go at least six cities, including Mexico, flights, hotels, and you lose a month of training because it deserves to get, you know, at least uh, five to six months for it to go and pay the 150 million. You cannot pay 150 million supposedly in uh, two months and a half. I totally understand what you're saying, but you know, the fans online, uh, social media, they'll say, I thought you thought you're hunting down Canelo if he offers the fight in September and you're saying you can't take it because of, of the realistic business reasons then they're going to say well now you're you're ducking Canelo no now. no right, no right. because this if he won if he won 150 million dollars it could happen in November if he won is 60 to 100 it can happen in September because you don't need to go to 60 a city to make that money you know what I mean but but if you want 150, you need to work for that. And the TV, it will not agree on three months notice. There's no way the TV and whoever put the money, because we are promoters, but really the money is coming from the TV, not from us, well, from the network. But you know, what about people who say, Canelo's the boss, He's the, if he wants to fight in September, then, it, then you know, well, he's gotta look, get his way. Uh, if you have a guarantee of 150 million dollars, I'm pretty sure that you can wait to do it right because even though he said, okay, I fight you for, but I want 150. If he say I want 60, that it was the original offer, plus uh, the pay-per-view, it will happen in September because you don't need to go to Six City. Mm -hmm. We're going only to a press conference to announce the fight and that's it. And now you go only to train. But that is the reason that it, the right uh, time will be November. But so, so just to, to be clear on everything, um, even if, if, if just no Benavides for for September, if Canelo's like, I'm fine with the 60 to 100 million. I just oh, whatever. So I want to fight September. Yeah, like, but I would I would not allow to David Benavides to go to six city or eight cities. Okay. Because we need to pick up all the uh, a big state of uh, people that he will buy the pay per view, including in Mexico at least, in Mexico City and maybe in some places of Mexico, okay. you know. That is the only reason that it would not be acceptable if you want the 150. But if you if if want okay, the 60, we go. We, you could do it in September. Oh, yeah. if they, if they, if that, because gotcha, he, gotcha. Take, he finish the fight and he goes straight to, to the gym. But for 150, he cannot go straight to the gym. You need to go and advertise that the best fight for the maybe 10, 15, at least a decade, put it that way that everybody wants to see. And I don't want to happen, with, that what happened with Roy John Jr. that I was involved uh, against Mr. Chesky. I went with Murad Muhammad to, uh, to Germany and we sit with uh, Hedy Muhammad 
And I thought that, you know, Muslim, we get together and we make the fight and almost we finish uh, punching each other. So, uh, you know, I don't want that to happen. I want to do the fight the right way and the way that the people deserve it. A fight like this, you need, you need time, you need to marinate uh, to get the most and pay no 150. Maybe the minimum will be 150 plus more money. But 150 is the right number. Well, well speaking of uh, Roy Jones, Samson, um, reminds me of when Roy, now this was 25 pounds, it wasn't seven pounds, but when Roy fought Ruiz and then he came back down in weight for Tarver and his body didn't react well. Are you concerned at all that it could be a miscalculation bringing Benavides to 75 and then back down to 60? No, you're wrong because he was from 75 to, to over 200. Right, so 25 pounds instead that, of seven. That, right. that is much more than 25 pounds. Right. You know, uh, in this moment, I can tell you that it'd be so easy to make 175 for David that it'd be no issue. And then uh, 68, it, it, the last three fights, he, he did under 68. So. It'd be no issue for that. But he, he's a big 68, and I, I'm just wondering, is this part of the setup that allows Canelo to take the fight? Like, I, I'll fight him if you make him go up to 75 and then back down to 68. Now I'll fight him, sure. Is that well, part of what's being... It, well, he did the same thing, and he have no issues. <laughs> he fought in 75, he lost, and he come back, and... Well, he's not, and he's, he's a little he, guy. Canelo, David's big. Well, to... look, uh, the, the, even though he's big, we should everybody agree, but at the end of the day, it's a, it'll be 67 and change, and he will fight because he can make 67. Doesn't say the law of, of the sport that if you if you make the weight, you don't deserve to have the, the belts. You make the weight, you deserve the belt, or at least intend to win the belt. Why, why did you ultimately decide, let's do Vazdek at 75 and not Morel at 68? Uh, because Morel, it will not bring the pay-per-view in this moment. Not right now, right. Uh, it didn't for really no one that with big name, but it'd be an unbelievable fight. My prediction that I will see him in 75, how about that? Oh, Benavides and Morel will happen yeah, in 75. Yeah, in 75, most likely. Because we do, because we are like in an era we've let fights marinate too long. But I will agree, Benavides Morel needs some marination. It does. Oh, yeah. It does. It, but. It, look, already Canelo Benavides is overdue. Right. He's getting sour. Right. You know. But at least now he say what he want. And he fight tomorrow. So now we know the price. So we can work with that. Before, why we should work for $150 million if you don't know if you take it? Now we know the number. That is good. It's, it, I believe, I'm, trust me, it's, it's an unbelievable businessman. And I congratulate him. Yeah, you seem confident. Instead of always pricing himself out, you're like, no. okay, I'll get you the 150 million. Let's That's just it. do it right and you can get it. And 150, I believe that it'd be no, no issue to get it. In November? Not that I have in my seven accounts. No, no, no. It, that it would be paid by others. <laughs> you think he beats Mungia? Uh, Tough fight, but uh, I believe it's uh, Mungia is too young, and uh, the lies maybe it will not be good for him in a, a measure. He have too much respect for uh, for Canelo, so but it be a good fight. I will pay to see the fight.